Welcome back everyone to the Witcher one. I believe it's the price of neutrality we've got to do first and then we move on to side effects and then that's it. So I've come back to do these DLC as they actually have no bearing on the Witcher story at all in the future. But um, they've got voice acting and they're kind of fun and I thought I may as well do everything this game has to offer. At least from CD Projekt Red's part so I thought why not. So right let's go. New game. New adventures. So these are the two we're going to do. You might be seeing all of these weird ones, but that one, that one, that one, that one, that one are all fan-made. I don't think they have any voice acting. They're kind of pointless. So I'm just going to do price neutrality and side effects. So yeah, we'll give price of neutrality a go. The famed white wolf, Geralt of Rivia, returns home, returns for w the winter to care more in the witch's fortress that lies hidden amidst the blue mountains. He finds that uninvited guests have arrived before him bringing trouble with them. Becoming entangled in their conflict, Geralt must choose between the greater and lesser evil. Decide if he's willing to pay the price of preserving his neutrality. Let's go! Medium. Alchemy is useful. Combat is easier, alchemy is not required to survive. What did we play when we first did this? Medium, I think? We'll go with medium. And we'll also do keyboard and mouse. God, it feels so long since I last did a new game of something on this channel. <laughs> like, 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 as in, of the witcher, you know what I mean? It's weird. It's a weird one. So, bear in mind, this is no... This is not between the witch 1 and 2, these are just random stories. Okay. Master Dandelion, Master Dandelion, do you promise to survive Yes, yes. Of battles and brave of warriors. Of sorceresses and magic. Of unrequited love. Silence, brats! You've not been in this world for long, so it is no surprise your heads are hollow. This is Dandelion, friend and companion of Geralt of Rivia. Who might he sing of if not of the famed Witcher? Right you are, honorable dwarf. I shall sing a fresh new ballad about White Wolf. Our story begins long before the Great War, decades before Geralt ever dreamed he would be famous. Its title, Bitter Evil Hearts. In the fall of 1232, the Witcher decided to return early to Kaer Morn, fearing the quick advent of winter. Yes, the story is a uh, ballad of dandelions, but it's like, I think it's actually true. <laughs> hey, look at, oh, that's a cool picture. God, I haven't seen that in a while. Care more in Valley. Hey, hey! The Witcher was angry. The final stretch through northern Kedwin was usually calm, but not this time. He was twice ambushed by bandits. Then one night, wolves attacked and killed his horse. He had grown accustomed to the kindly grey mare he had traditionally christened Roach. To make matters worse, at the foot of Care Morn, he encountered a camp. Like all witchers, he believed the fingers of one hand would suffice to count the people who knew the way to the witcher's fortress. Visitors were a sign of trouble. Hmm. Character development. Oh, are we having some? <laughs> You've earned your talents. Use this to upgrade character styles. This actually assigns contact styles. Select the feature you want to enhance from the list. Oh my god, 59. What? So they expect us to what? Just, um... Do all this. Okay, guys, I think I've done everything. Oh my god, I have a headband. I've never seen Garrett wear a headband in my life. No, oh, okay. Upgraded the hell out of all our skills. Oh, is that Sabrina Gleverzig? Perhaps we should return to Cairngorm. I have no desire to perish in this wilderness forsaken by the gods. Silence, Merwin. They That's are the but relevant wolves. character model. Wolves that fearlessly attack an encampment thick with campfires. I ask your forgiveness, mistress, but these are but wolves like I am but an elven schoolgirl. Did anyone ask for your opinion, Mr. Brings? No? Then start doing what you are being paid for, and keep your hopelessly cowardly opinions to yourself. We would all be safe if your boys manned their stations, instead of constantly playing dice while bathing in drink. 
Now take away this corpse before its stench fills my tent. Can I ask what happened? Wolves killed the boy. Nothing unusual about it happening in a camp. It's commonly known that wolves, the cursed beasts, love flames so much that they bathe in them if they could. Enough, Brings. Who are you, sir? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Prince Merwin Adamain of Ard Karaig. Kind of you to visit, finally. We've been awaiting your response all day. Response regarding... I'll explain. I'm Sabrina Glevisig, sorceress. Come see me at my tent. Merwin, I assume you won't mind my handling this matter? No, though I will want to know what you agree. It'll have to wait, whatever it is. Wolves approach. To arms! <sighs> okay. Oh my god. Okay, nailed it. So this is Geralt pretty much as he would have been in the books, I guess. This is what their, their assumption is. I've got to meet her in a tent, don't I? God, that looks kind of like Beringer, apart from he's bald and has a strange shaped head. Um, where's her tent then? Is her tent the massive one, I'm assuming? Oh. Oh, I just didn't see that at all. In what way is this a... Okay, this is a magical tent with stone. <laughs> Welcome to Mistress Sabrina's tent. In case you're wondering, this yeah, is an illusion. So. Everything? Yes, but my dear Witcher, it's an illusion of rare quality. In fact, it barely differs from reality. No matter. Suit yourself. I assume you are returning to care more in for the winter. You assume correctly. Enough of the small talk. We have important things to discuss. Thank you for your help with the wolves. No problem. You've heard of the curse of the Black Sun, Witcher? The curse of the Mad Mage Eltebald. I believe he started the whole mess that led to several dozen nobly born women being murdered or imprisoned in towers. Alterbord was no madman, and there is no doubt that women were not Remember entirely Renfrey? normal. Madness, normality, its prattle steeped in relativity. Tell me something specific. Autopsies were performed. The mutations witches undergo are but a minor clinical operation compared to those caused by the curse of the Black Sun. The skulls and spines of these girls contained red sponge of some kind. Their internal organs were in disarray, some missing altogether. Everything covered in moving cilia and pink and blue meat scraps. What say you to that? Nothing. I've seen humans with eagle talons instead of hands, with wolf fangs and eyes, people with additional joints, all products of mages fumbling with magic. It's no proof of a curse. We digress. Why are you here? A girl affected by the curse of the Black Sun is inside Kaer Morin. Princess Deirdre Adamain, elder sister of Merwin. What do I have to do with this? Don't play the fool. That girl is a serious threat to you. Surrender her to me and no one will get hurt. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. Sabrina, I wish to have a word with you. Naturally, Merwin, but not now. I have several matters to discuss with Geralt of Rivia. Is there anything I should know? Don't fret. We will confer later. In that case, I shall take my leave. That is the same model as Radovid, right? Well, uh, right. <laughs> same model as Radovid, uh. Right, what are we doing here? Oh my god, why, why would you simulate this? I mean, I get that, but... What's with all these weird torture devices she simulated? Strong illusions. Witcher? You must be bored out here. You must be bored out here. Well, in truth, the valley provides little in the way of diversion for the civilized. And my illusory boy is no longer as entertaining as he used to be. Oh. You could get Briggs men to put on a show. I said diversion for the civilized. I prefer some cultured conversation. Mm -hmm. If you lack words at the moment, I could request something more pertinent to the witcherly profession. I require some materials for my research. Materials? I wish to study the wolves that lurk about the campsite. I need a vital organ, let's say the liver. Twenty of them. In exchange, I will give you a sword that I in turn receive from one of my lovers. I believe you'll make good use of it. Um... Yeah, Fine. okay, pretty good with a good sword, I suppose. That's kind. You're much nicer than that boar Lambert. 
Um, I've heard of nothing. I've heard nothing to convince me that the girl is cursed. What proof can you offer? Quite a bit. All the girls born soon after the eclipse were discovered to be inclined towards cruelty, aggressive, prone to attacks of wrath and wildness. <laughs> God, okay. Were any attempts made to lift the curse? <laughs> Indeed, using higher magic. All girls subjected to it merely perished. That discredits you mages, not the girls. I guess only the dead were dissected? Not only. They continued to rampage, and a decision was made to eliminate all. Several, many were eliminated. All were dissected. One underwent vivisection. You mages can really be impudent. Inclined towards cruelty, you say? Sabrina, there will come a day when people will come after you. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. The mages were protecting humans. The mutants would have drowned entire lands in blood. Yet you were right in some sense. We changed our tactics. Instead of killing them, we decided to isolate and study them. Special towers were erected, designed to quell the mutants' magic abilities. And to avoid being locked away, princesses fled. Maybe they just couldn't believe your intentions were noble when they learned of the vivisections and assassinations. True, to some extent. <laughs> Yet the penchant that princes developed for rescuing princesses in towers was our real bane. The young ones who had little to lose were especially determined. Fortunately, most fell and broke their necks. Not all, though. Many girls escaped, and now they seek revenge. In brief, yes. Okay. What do you aim to do with Deirdre? See if the curse can be removed. Study it, and finally and ultimately conclude nope. the matter of the curse of the Black Sun. Contrary to what you believe, I intend to make her an offer. If she can find the will to aid me, it will only ease things for all of us. And if she doesn't agree to help? I shall force her. Yes, Geralt, for the greater good, I will bow at nothing. For I stand to save hundreds, perhaps thousands. You may not believe me, but there are more women of this kind. Many rule entire lands with a cruel hand. I am to report to the Council of Mages. The first trustworthy report, containing specific results. I must examine the girl, and that is precisely what I will do. Nothing and no one will stop me. Um... I understand your determination. It's a difficult matter. Indeed. And you witches are not making things any easier by giving the girls shelter. Think it through, Geralt. I will. Witcher? See, the thing is, I get where she's coming from. Have you spoken to the other witchers? Who is at the castle? Merwin spoke to two of them. There may be more, I don't know. Merwin was not let inside. That shouldn't be surprising. I'm guessing that's Eskel We don't Lander. generally like guests. Maybe there's me. Like it or not, we are special guests. Merwin carries a letter of safe conduct from King Henseld. Read it, and tell the other witches to prepare for a visit. Hmm. Well, she See wants you. wolf's Soon. liver, right? That's what I seem to remember. Twenty wolves and bring their liver to what's a face Right, we'll go and do these wolf... Wolf, we'll go and kill these wolves first. Oh, go and speak with the witches, sway them to my point of view. Oh, okay. I'm a professional, I know what the girl needs, and I'm very good at demonstrating gratitude. That I do not doubt at all. I'm not gonna let this girl die because <laughs> she wants to <laughs> sex with me. No, oh, god damn it, just let me kill these wolves. I see you have spoken to Miss Sabrina, however, I lead this expedition. Remember that. I will. Are you able to read? I am. Then read this scroll. To my barons, vassals, and all free subjects. Go on, go on. Let it be known far, wide, and by all, that I hereby declare Merwin of Cainegorn to be our loyal and trusted servant, and to be loved by us, thus rendering all who cause him grief liable to incur our royal wrath. Henselt. King of Kedwin. Good enough. Understood? Indeed, though grief is spelled differently. I see you are quick. So you accept that if the witchers wish to travel freely and unmolested about Kedwin, mm, they should gone, not okay. cause me grief, no matter how the term is spelt. You don't seem like anyone's causing you grief. Not yet, no. But that may change, and my patience has its limits. I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> May I ask what brings you to Kaer Morin, sir? 
My sister, Deirdre. She is my elder, and in Kedwin, the eldest offspring inherits all titles and estates, no matter the gender. My father, Prince of Cairngorm, may he rest in peace, passed on two weeks ago, a victim of syphilis. So Deirdre is now Princess of Cairngorm? She would be, if not for the curse that holds her. Anyone aspiring to the throne of Cairngorm must fulfill two additional conditions. Cairngorm is a vassal state of Kedwin. For decades, the princes of the north have bowed before the throne at Ard Kareg, a throne currently occupied by King Henselt, who has made his opinion on the issue of cursed princesses very clear. I think I get it. And the second condition? Do you know Cairngorm's history, Witcher? Not well. We have this custom whereby any aspiring ruler, prior to assuming the throne, must spend a day amongst the duchy's simple folk, execute a series of menial tasks, and pray in the Temple of Freya in the evening. Sounds reasonable. The problem is, my sister has displeased the simple folk in the past, and though she most probably could bribe a few prominence, the priestesses of Freya will never accept her. Because she is cursed, supposedly. Because she has killed too many, even for a princess. Her victims include the priestess Isildura. Truthfully, the old hag was nearing the end of her days, but that changes little. Is it certain that Deirdre caused her death? Beyond any doubt, when Miss Sabrina decided to perform a magic ritual that was to lift the curse from my sister, Deirdre went mad. Then a huge wolf emerged from behind a house, and before it could be stopped, it shredded Isildura's throat. Miss Sabrina cast a powerful spell, and the old priestess's spirit arose and said, I was killed by Deirdre Adamain, who was born beneath the Black Sun. Sabrina cast a spell, you say? I believe necromancy was banned. Yeah, well, was... okay, well, let's kill these wolves. <laughs> well, that, that was an interesting conversation. This is interesting so far, guys. I'm, I'm sort of, you know, it's like, hmm, you know? I've got to get 20 of these wolf pelts or whatever. Psst. Oh, hello. Master Geralt. What is it? I merely wish a brief word with you, sir, but reveal not to Miss Sabrina that I drew you aside. All right. Talk to me. Master, do not defend the lass you harbor now in your castle. She is not worthy. I detest her with all my might. It will be two years now when she passed through my village with her retinue. My father, keeper of the local tavern, took in the noble party. I know not if he offended her or if it was just her whim, but she tormented my father to death, slowly and cruelly, forcing my mother and me to watch. May she be damned for the ages. And no one raised a hand to stop her? It was but the princess who had a retinue of armed men and who wielded a sword herself. There was nothing anyone could do. I beg you, surrender the girl to Sabrina, who will repay her for all her ill deeds. I need to speak with the other witchers first. Hmm. This this is a bit of a, a difficult one, isn't it? Oh, there's a wolf over there. Okay, one dead. 20? I've got to kill 20 of them. Hey, it's Lambert! Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Here he is. What a kill. Hey, he killed some wolves. No, Lambert! Oh, god damn it. Hey, Wolf. <laughs> Lambert, who else is here for the winter? Vesemir and Eskel, and... Well, we have guests. I know. I've been to their camp. What are you doing here? Making sure they stay out of Kaer Morhen. Our guests tried to enter Kaer Morhen? Some pompous ass showed up with an escort of dwarf mercenaries. Obviously, I couldn't let them pass. Obviously, yeah, yeah. though I hope you didn't provoke them. Didn't have a chance to. The Arcaspores sprouted first. Quite a few seemed to have planted roots over the summer. I always thought they grew on the graves of the murdered. Some bad wind must have carried the spores to the valley. It's full of them now. In any case, the dwarves evacuated the nobleman as soon as the There's one over there. <laughs> it's been quiet since then. There it is. No, stop attacking me. I'm trying to I'm trying to loot. God damn it. Lambert, I'm gonna let you kill them. Go on. Got them. It's alright, Lambert. 
more beast liver. Why has it got skinnable items up on the screen every time I look? Uh, we need to kill some more of these things first. Got them. Oh fuck, how far back am I? I reckon I'll be like right at the start of the DLC to be honest. Maybe just after I left her tent? Okay, I'm back to where I was, just about to do this corpse. I'll take the apple juice. Okay, so we're, we're back to where we were. I had some swallow, turns out we had some potions on us. So we're gonna head up to the Care More and Keep now and see what the hell's up there. Oh god, guys, this... Oh, a bonfire. I wonder if we can make anything. It might be useful just to restore some health, but... You know what, I got swallow. It's restoring my health slowly. I'm fine with that, to be honest. Hey! <laughs> Haven't walked along here since, like, say, The Witcher 3. This is so weird. Didn't... Th that's where the professor was. He was down there. Oh. Oh, look at all the mice. Or rats, I don't know. One or the other. Hey, they're up there. Vesemir! Oh, guys, look. God, we haven't been here in so long! Oh, it feels like such a long time, guys. Months. Greetings, Geralt. Good thing you're here. Greetings. How is the path? Tolerable. Nothing groundbreaking. What is going on here, Vesemir? We've got a bit of a problem. Good rhyme. The Princess of Cainegorn arrived two days ago, claiming her envious brother and an evil sorceress were pursuing her. She's asked for our protection. She's got her castles all wrong. No knights in shining armor here. She was in bad shape. Hungry. Cold. We didn't have the heart to drive her off. Mm -hmm. And Eskel was <laughs> acting strange. Before the girl fell asleep, she said one more thing. That one cannot flee one's fate. Later, Eskel told me a story. Some twenty years ago, he saved the Prince of Cainegorn's life. He cited the law of surprise, and as they say, destiny proved fortunate. Unbeknownst to the prince, his wife was with child. I'm not sure that was entirely fortunate. So you've heard of the curse. In any case, on a day when the sky was dark as night at high noon, the princess gave birth to a girl. As far as I know, Eskel never returned to claim the child promised him by the prince. For some reason, ever since then, he's always taken the long way around Cainegorn. So, now we need to deal with the brother of Eskel's unexpected child, a retinue of mercenaries, and a sorceress bent on dissecting the woman she suspects of being a mutant. As if that's not enough, the brother carries a letter of safe conduct from King Henselt himself. So we can hardly just drive them all away. What do we do? Talk to Eskel. She's his surprise. We'll meet back at the Ford Lambert is guarding. Think it through, Wolf. I want to hear your opinion. Fine. Hmm. Wolf. What do you think about this dispute, Deirdre, Sabrina, and the nobleman? We should stay out of it. Geralt, we protect humans from monsters. That's our vocation. Meddling in human affairs only brings trouble. Do you mean the letter bearing King Henselt's seal? Exactly. We can't afford to provoke the king. This could get sticky. I get your point. I'll see if I can learn some more. Wolf. Why is everyone outside? The keep is locked. I'd rather not unlock it with strangers around. We're better off spending a few days out in the open. That way I can be sure no one will go sniffing around the fortress. True enough. Good point, Wolf. good point. Um... Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll just Deirdre? get every piece of information. A little further on with her wolves. What? Tell me about the girl. She seems a bit strange, though I wouldn't call her a monster. Strange how? When she's near, my medallion goes wild, and I can't cast even the simplest signs. I can't explain it. Okay. I need to look around. Right, well, we've pretty much got everything there. There's a big fireplace. A, what is that on there? A little cat? It's like a, a pog roast. That was a little plant. I, I just, sorry guys, I'm so happy to be back here. I mean, I know technically our Geralt, this is like our Geralt in the past, I guess. And our Geralt that we're currently playing as is um, 
the last time we saw him was just at the end of The Witcher 1. This is sort of like, sort of like an interlude, I guess, before The Witcher 2. It's just some wolves. Hello. Greetings, Geralt. I'm Deirdre. Eskel spoke of you. I've heard a few things about you, too. If you mean from that lying shrew, Glavisig. Calm down. I don't tend to judge based on rumors. Geralt? Why is Geralt so smooth, then? Your wolves' Calm eyes down. are glazed mm. over with hunger. They're starved. Because of that bitch Sabrina, I cannot venture beyond the fortress walls. They choose to remain at my side, thus depriving themselves of the opportunity to hunt. Probably you seem to have them. a better understanding with wolves than with humans. I raised them from when they were cubs. In a sense, they are my only friends. Oh. Um, right. I'll help her. I'll Why see not? if I can find something for them. I spotted several wyverns in the area, on the peninsula across the river from the camp. Ugh. If you could slay three of them and bring me their meat, I'll reward you. Reward me? I have a runestone that can be cast into a blade. What did you think I had in mind? Nothing. I'll be back soon. Geralt? God, he always has such a dirty mind. What do you want from Eskel? You can be disarmingly kind. That was... Um... Just answer the question. I want him to stop fleeing his destiny. And become Prince of Kangorn? Are you feeling all right, Deirdre? Eskel is a witcher. What of it? It seems you don't know how childish a witch's mores sound. I constantly hear things like, we're witches, witches have no feelings, and so on. You don't fool me. You have feelings, emotions, you're like all people except faster. I cannot fathom why you strive so hard to hide that. It's rarely wise to fight a legend. Sometimes you have to make do with it. Perhaps. But I'm not deceived. Okay. What do your wolves eat? Meat, Witcher. Yet there are... Oh yeah, we talked Deirdre, about Deirdre, do you know what Sabrina and your brother want from you? Isn't it obvious? Sabrina wants to place my sweet little brother on the throne of Cainghorn. My brother, who is entirely subservient to her, and who, as the Prince of Cainghorn, will have a vote on King Hansel's council. I was asking about something else. All right, then. She believes me to be cursed, tainted in my mother's very womb. She believes me to be a monster. Are you? How the hell should I know? When I prick my finger, I bleed. I also bleed each month. When I eat too much, my stomach aches. I sing when I am joyful. And when I feel hatred, I kill. I don't oh. know if I'm a monster. Yet I do know what Sabrina is capable of. She is a monster you seek. Um... I heard much of your cruelty on my way here. Why are you here if you've decided who I am? No, I just Instead heard of all yelling, about it. Why don't you tell me your side of the story? <laughs> I was 19 and happy when Sabrina showed up at the castle. My father, who always preferred Merwin, was old and ill by this time, so he could no longer bother me. My brother had been away at King Hansel's court, and I could handle most of the courtiers. I was at a tender age, and I fell in love. His name was Robin. I even considered a morganatic marriage. Girlish fantasy. What does Sabrina have to do with this? She arrived with my brother, whom she already had on a short lead. She observed me, interrogated servants, tested the situation. My father's company of knights treated me like a daughter. I had always liked hunting, took part in manhunts for bandits. She needed proof, some spectacular way to defame me. And in your carelessness, you provided her with that proof. Sabrina decided to provoke me. She seduced Robin using magic so powerful that his mind became confused. He suddenly developed an intense fear of animals, especially of the dogs he bred. I wanted to help him. It was then I discovered that mages found it hard to cast spells in my presence, and that spells previously cast gradually subsided if I was near. I went to the small chamber Robin inhabited just above the kennel, and I found Sabrina there. I admit, I was enraged, wanting to tear her apart, but she was too quick. The hag flew out of the window on a broom. Robin was left she what? <laughs> whimpering like a child. Within an hour, he had ceased gibbering, and within two, he understood what the witch had done to him. I thought all was in order, and I could leave him. I wished to settle the score with her and entered the castle. I know not what happened, but the spell grasped Robin once more as soon as I was gone. He began feverishly seeking Sabrina. In his wildness, he entered a pen occupied by a very aggressive hunting hound. Did he survive? Yes. Though mentally he became a two-year-old child, a child that feared animals intensely. Sabrina blamed the accident on me, 
I swore then that I would kill her. I carry a blade should I get the opportunity to use it. I really don't know if I believe her. I feel like the broom thing really takes away from it all. I always know where Eskel is. I merely need to think about him. What? Okay. I'll be going. No, no. You knew that the witches live at Caremore and Eskel seems to never leave, so that's that's why he came here. Go away. Wait, if I give Sabrina her thing, can I not give her her thing? You know what I mean? Wolves, come on, all of you. Have I got all of them on my on my um tail, I guess. On their tails. Okay. We should only have to get four more. We'll go and sleep by the fire again. Just get four more. And that's just done. Oh, we haven't looted everything. So we've got 16 so far. We need four more. Then we'll get the wyvern meat. And then we can return to both of them. Maybe we'll return to Sabrina first. Get the better sword. We'll see. Okay. We killed significantly more than I wanted to. But it's fine. Get the rest for potions, I guess. Right, we got all 20. Right, well, let's get this sword, guys. We now have so many wolf pelts. Like an unbelievable amount of wolf pelts. Well, wolf, what they call liver. And the other thing. And fangs. Oh, goddammit. Why'd you have to sit down then? <laughs> Witcher? Witcher? I have I the livers. Have the livers you asked for. Oh, I might ask her about the Robin too. And place them on the vivisection table. I'll tend to them soon. And here is the sword I mentioned. It's a bit dusty, but sharp as ever. Thanks. No, thank you. I didn't expect such kindness from one who would gladly drive me away from Care Morn. I just wanted the sword, to be honest. You're an unusual woman, Sabrina. And yes. A beautiful one. That too. I shouldn't. But what the hell, my school days are a distant memory. What? No! Why, why did that just happen? I just said she was unusual. You're weird. Oh, let's have sex. <laughs> I, I keep- I did, genuinely, guys, did, did not think that was gonna happen. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I did not think that was gonna happen then. Hey. I wanna actually talk to you about this. My, oh my, oh my. Ugh. It has been so long since I made love. Okay. Who was Robin? No, no I can ask her. Important, Witcher. Deirdre says otherwise. She's convinced you cast a spell on him. One could say that. Though every woman uses magic of that kind. Men seduced through natural means don't generally lose their minds. Perhaps I helped myself with some subtle spell I don't recall. It's of no importance. If you wish to know so badly, I will tell you how it was. I'm all ears, Go on. but don't lie. Robin was the prince's huntsman. A strong, charismatic man. He trained the prince's bear-hunting dogs and lived above the kennel. The girl walked in on us one night. She became enraged, and I could do nothing for her aura was strong by that time. Robin sought to defend me, and followed her down to the kennel to speak reason to her. The dogs attacked him. It was horrible. And Deirdre joined in their howls. The dogs barked and growled horribly. No God, I don't know who to believe. It. You behaved like a true sorceress. I refused to be provoked. That night, Robin changed. He acquired an intense fear of animals. The prince cast him out after a few weeks. That is all. Hmm, I, do I don't know whether to believe her. Have you got anything to say? Or <laughs> Nothing useful, really. Well, we got a decent sword, I guess. Is it better than my... Oh, it's much better. Cool. Cheers for the sword. I feel like I just, I should do every quest I can, right? Like, like, I, I shouldn't half-ass it. I should really just go for it. Almost there. Oh my god. We've been here for so long, walking down this one road. But we're almost there now. There's a wyvern. How many have we got to kill? Did you see three or something? Oh my god, there is already just three there. You have to kill like five wolves probably in a minute. Or charge me. Right, so we've got to kill a lot of wyverns. Let's make a save. OK. 
Okay. Okay. And we got all the meat. Good, good, good. Not, not much left to do now. We've done all the little quests for them, so... You know, I'd say we did all right so far. I'd say we're not doing too badly. Draw the little quests that we've sort of been given the option for. Okay, I've got your wyvern meat. Girls. Time to feast. Here you go, pups. They won't accept anything from you. I'll feed oh, them myself. Oh, okay. Diablo, Banshee. Here is the rune I promised you, Witcher. Nice bauble. Geralt. Uh. Right, well we did all that now. We got a rune stone. What's my is my sword got that on now? Applied oil. Should that just stay on forever now, I guess? Oh look, it's got runes on it. That's kinda cool. So we got a sword and our rune stone combined. That's right. Oh yeah. Um, the old mine? How the hell do I get there then? I guess I go around the back? Yeah, yeah, like this. Okay, so Eskel's at the old mine. Come on, lassie! Eskel's down the old well! Ooh, okay. Ooh, I don't want to fight any of the big old centipedes, you know? Just gonna leave them to it. Yeah, this is a place you don't get to go to in The Witcher 3. To the old mine. Dun 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 dun. Hopefully there's no wraiths down here. Hey, uh, school. Oh, it's been a while, friend. Wolf. Is that what he's gonna say? Hey, Geralt. Oh Eskel. God, what's up with your face? I wanted to talk about Deirdre. Fine, but we should tend to the Kikimors first. We need to destroy their cocoons. He always the art to kill is best Kikimors, for that. Isn't he? It's dark inside, so down a dose of cat. Let's go. Let's go. I have one cat. God, get me out of this place. Die. One last cocoon. Go on, Eskel. You got it, mate. all of them, right? Ooh, there's a big old fella there. Got it. Okay, school. Well, we did pretty well there as a team, I'd say. You didn't really do anything, but you were still First emotional support. First clear. Let's go deep. First? Care to tell me something about Deirdre? Uh, it was about 20 years ago. I rescued Deirdre's father from a gang of Bobolax. Hey. I must have heard too many of Vesemir's stories about the eternal law of surprise. We've all heard too many of those. The prince, spattered with Bobolak blood, looked at me and said, You saved my life, Witcher, as I am your debtor. Say what you wish in return. All I could think of was the famous line, You will give me what you know not that you have. I shall return to Cangorn six years from now to see if destiny acted in my favor. I never went back to Cangorn. Then rumors started circulating about the curse of the Black Sun. There was confusion, but that's another story. We have Kiki Moors to tend to. All right, but I'll have a few more questions. Okay. Yeah, we'll ask the questions soon. We just want to loot all these guys first. Okay, so we've pretty much cleared them all up. Well, we've got one left. How many chambers are there, do you think? Oh, this is particularly hard. Thank God. Give me some bread. Ah! Uh. God! I hate when that happens. It just turns around. Right, Eskel, is that it? Is that the chamber done? We done? We done? Eskel? One Damn it! chamber left. Let's take a breather. What do you know about the curse of the Black Sun? I did take an interest in it, and even bribed a certain wizard to let me look at documents drafted for the Council of Mages. I took some notes. It seems the mages screwed up as usual, 
Sabrina Glefesig was chosen to examine the Princess of Cangorn. It was hatred at first sight. Something about a guy. Women. It only got worse. Sabrina concluded she had enough proof to consider Deirdre a cursed mutant and to subject her to real studies. As I'm sure you've guessed, Deirdre had no intention of being examined, not least because she was a princess. She yeah. persuaded several of the princess warriors to get rid of Sabrina. All hell broke loose at the castle in Kangorn. Many died, and there was some priestess among the corpses. What did the priestess have to do with anything? Nothing. From what I know, she landed in the wrong place at the wrong time. After it was all over, Deirdre fled the castle. And the pursuit continues to this day. Exactly. I'll give you my notes on the curse when we're done with the Kiki Morris. Let's get to work. Okay, Esco. I totally understand you. You just need to loot this thing first. The potions in this game do last a very long time, I'll give them that. You do have to make it every time, which is a little bit annoying, but they last a very long time, too. Oh my god. Okay, one dead. Where's my bread? And that was a rhyme. Okay. And again. Ow. I did it! Done deal. So what'll it be, Esco? Good job, What Eskel, do we though. do with Deirdre? I really don't know, Geralt. I understand Vesemir's viewpoint, but I'm not keen on surrendering the girl to the sorceress. I expect she'd meet an unpleasant end. You have to make this decision on your own. I know. Though at this point, the matter concerns you as well. It concerns all the Witchers. Fine. We'll consider it. Why does Esco have Give blue me the eyes? And let's get out of here. Just realized he has, he has blue eyes. Oh, right, Eskel. Returning to Care Morn, I guess. Oh, okay. What was that? He ran into a tree. Oh, sorry, Eskel. You continue. Okay, fellas. Us witches are all together again. What have we decided? Wolf. Fine. Whoa. I think it's time we decided. We need to figure out what to do with Deirdre and her brother. Askel wants everyone to say their peace. This concerns our safety and Kaer Morin. A mistake could cost us dearly. Oh, I don't know. I feel like I've, l I've learned enough. I've done every bit I can. Let's do this. I'll start. I think we should stay out of this, meaning we can no longer shelter the girl. The reason is simple. If we meddle and Sabrina informs Henselt, Kedwin will be off limits to us for decades. Lambert? I don't really care for Deirdre, but I detest the fact that some blue blood who rules three coal hills comes here demanding obedience. This is Kaer Morin. Royal authority doesn't extend here. I think we need to drive away the noble and the sorceress. What about you, Eskel? I'm torn. I understand Vesemir. On the other hand, I owe the girl. I feel some kind of bond. I'm incapable of being objective. He's got blue I'd eyes. Like to hear your opinion, Wolf. Oh God. So it's like I I don't know who to believe in this situation at all. I don't. She, Deirdre has. They've both told me conflicting things. I have no reason to really trust Sabrina, and I have no real reason to trust uh, Deirdre either. Eskel doesn't really know what to do. Lambert doesn't really trust her, but also kind of feel- I feel like there was that woman who came and saw me and told me what Deirdre did, and that was pretty bad. The thing is, though, is do, do you just let Sabrina pretty much, I guess it seems, dissect her? Ugh. God, I don't know. We've never really remained neutral in our playthrough, you know, so far in The Witcher 1. But that was our new Geralt. What, what this is basically... What would old Geralt have done? He never really remained neutral either. <laughs> oh God! Right, can't right, let fine, the fine. Get her hands on the girl. It wouldn't be right. So what do we do about Sabrina and the nobleman? 
Deirdre must give up her claims. That should satisfy Merwin. And the sorceress, well, she'll have to live with our decision. Either that, or I'll turn her lovely little head into something to place on the mantle. Should have landed. Lambert, save your morbid lines for later. Let's try to resolve this peacefully. All right. Esco, Geralt, go see our princess. We'll wait for you here. Yes, all of us with our Witcher bone swords. Oh, I don't have mine anymore. Oh well. Come on, Eskel, mate. I feel like this is the best thing to do. We can't really just let her die, can we? What the hell is she doing? Well, um, we'll discuss that in a... Oh, okay. I want to use my talents, but okay. Hello. Geralt? We've decided to help you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. We need to settle things with your brother. You have to go to the camp with us and tell him that you relinquish your claims to the throne and estate. Thus stripping Sabrina of support. A high price, but I see no other choice. That's settled then. I'm glad, Deirdre, really. Oh, well, she's understanding, that's good. <laughs> she's like, okay. I can't meditate with a fire out. Seems I have to light it first. Give us a second, you two, I just wanna... Um, it looks like I can't restore any stamina, so... Ah! To what do we owe this procession? Merwin, there's a way to resolve this peacefully. To feed the wolves while saving the sheep. Very well. I shall hear you out. Forgetting anyone? No. This is strictly Merwin's business. We will speak with you too, Sabrina. Later. Merwin, I am prepared to relinquish my claim to the throne and the lands of Cairngorm. I am ready to give up my title as princess. Unconditionally? No. But I have only one. You will strike me from your mind. You will cease pursuing me and return home, taking this witch with you. Deirdre. Silence, woman. Merwin, you must see through this. This is a trick. We will draft all the necessary documents here and now, witnesses present. All will be clarified. Merwin, don't believe them. Remember how Robin ended. That was your doing, Glevisig. You and your magic. Merwin, order brings to arrest Deirdre. Only then will your title be safe. Without that, you will live in fear, always. I shall kill you, witch. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? We resolved that peacefully. At least she didn't fly off on a broom. Why did she attack her? I should have just bloody given her up. Oh, shit. God damn it. Hey, girl. Why did you attack her? Run for your life. No. Eskel, you good boy? Uh. <laughs> he's just a, he's just a, annoyed. Follow Deirdre inside the tent. Oh, she went in the tent. Okay. God damn it, Deirdre. Oh, they. I thought they fully teleported away. You had it coming, brother. Instead of a prince, you'll be a dead man. And I have a special set of gifts for you, witch. Only the best. She has gone entirely mad. Witcher, help me! Sabrina, use your magic. We can defeat her! Magic does nothing to me, brother dear. Geralt, I did not intend to attack Eskel. He scared me. It was an instinctual reaction. You Abandon attacked Eskel? plans of revenge on Sabrina. Forgive your brother. Prove the mage is wrong. Prove that you are no beast. And if I tell you I cannot find it in me to forgive? If I say that I long to put that bitch through real torture? Will you see that as an admission of my guilt? I'll see you as a morbidly vengeful child, but I'm no judge. I'm not gonna let you kill Sabrina. It doesn't take wisdom to see that she has lost her mind. Shut up, Sabrina. It must be the progressing mutation. You're only guessing. Witcher, I should remind you of the letter from King Henselt himself. If anything happens to me, King Henselt will have you all eliminated. God, I want to kill like him. <laughs> Since you want me to decide, I will. Sabrina, you must leave immediately. Drop your sword, Deirdre. Should we just get Sabrina to go away? I feel like Sabrina shouldn't really be here. Sabrina, you must leave. Immediately. Your magic is useless, and your scheming brought us here. But as I said, I am neither judge nor executioner. Just leave. Geralt, have you gone mad? 
No. I don't know that I'm right to do this, but I'm giving you a chance to survive. But... No buts. You must go. You played your cards poorly. I don't believe a word of what you say, and something tells me that if you leave, Deirdre and Merwin will figure out their differences. Hmm. It seems I have no choice. Go now. Yeah, go away, Sabrina. There's any way I can see it working. I'll get her someday. I doubt it. One last piece of advice. If you value your life, you'll settle things with your brother, return to Cainghorn, and not so much as stick your nose out of your castle for several months, perhaps years. Easily said. Merwin, can you forgive me? I will relinquish my title. I never craved power, but I need your support. I cannot do this alone. As the Witcher demonstrated, we have much to learn. I was a fool to listen to Sabrina's counsel. I forgive you, Deirdre, and ask you to forgive me. I'll be going. Eskel's unexpected child. Hey, well, that worked out. Princess Deirdre Adamain, born in Destiny's shadow. She could have changed her own fate, abandoned vengeance in favor of forgiveness, demonstrated kindness and humanity. The mercenaries were massacred in the fight at the camp. Was it worth it? Was the death of Merton Brings and his mercenaries truly the lesser evil? No one can know that. In any case, Merwin and Deirdre ruled jointly, leading Cainghorn during the best time in its history. Several years later, a large crow arrived at Kaer Morin, carrying a letter bearing the seal of the Princess of Cainghorn. Eskel threw it into the fire without reading it, and we never spoke of Deirdre Adamain again. Huh, interesting. The Witchers never again spoke of Deirdre. Though none ever forgot her, each carrying her memory in his heart. Well guys, we um we finished Price of Neutrality. That was pretty easy actually. That's so far altogether taken me about an hour and a half to complete. Not very long. Pretty interesting, I'd say. I enjoyed that. This is probably just going to be an extra long one-off episode thing, so I hope everybody's enjoyed it. It's uh, It's been good. I, I actually enjoyed that. We'll have probably one more episode of this with the, uh, the other DLC in this game that they recommend to play, and then we'll move on to The Witcher 2. So I hope you're all looking forward to that, honestly. It's going to be cool, guys. As always, guys, be sure to go and follow my Twitter. I do updates on there. It'd be cool if you guys follow that, so thank you all for doing that. Be sure to follow my Twitch. I'm going to play some more games on there. Just go and follow me on all those things. It's really cool if you guys do that. Thank you so much if you do. Also, thank you so much for the Patreon pledges. You guys are now in the DLC as well for this game. You get to have your name at the end of it permanently. You are part of this series on my channel permanently, so there you go. Thank you all so much for donating. It's very, very kind of you guys. Honestly, I... I'm still thinking about it. I, I think I did the right thing in the end. I mean, I did kill all the mercenaries, but they tried to kill me. So it wasn't like I provoked it. I, I don't really like Deirdre. She randomly started attacking people. I, I think she is kind of insane. But it, it looks like that they ruled the kingdom well together in the end. Sabrina lived. And I'm pretty sure there's no way she could have died, judging what happens in the later games. But, um, yeah, we'll see anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. See you in a bit, guys.